Okay, lecture 37. I'm probably going to have to break this up into more than one lecture. Uh, I have 12 problems here, and the reason I have so many is because there's so many different possibilities, and they're used in so many different ways throughout the rest of this course and the next, that I want you to know everything that you can about um, molarity and how to work with it as a uh, conversion factor. Okay, so a sample of 0 0.0888 moles of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in water to give 35 mils uh, of solution. What is the molarity of the solution? Well, molarity, that capital M, is moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Not liters of water, because as we add in the solute, the water, the solution level, or the, the, uh, the water, um, maybe you had 50 mils to start with, but as you add in solute, the solution level may go up or down, depending on what we put in there. So we go with liters of solution after the fact, after we mixed it. So the moles of solute, in this case, we have 0 0.0888 moles of calcium hydroxide divided by, and we have 35 mils, you have to change that over to liters. That's the big thing. When we're dealing with molarity, that's moles, should put that in there, it's moles per liter. That capital M is moles per liter, so you got to be careful. And this comes out to be 2.54 uh, molar. It goes 2.54 moles per liter, just to show it the same thing. And I'm going to do it really, really quick here again. Yeah. All right. Another problem we can do, a sample of 0.115 moles of HCl is dissolved in water to give 145 mils. What is the molarity of this solution? So same problem. So we have point, and I should say molar calcium hydroxide at the top here. Oh, it's on. We should finish off as molarity of what? So we have 0.115 moles of HCl divided by the, the uh, 145 mils of solution, and it should be more specific here, to give uh, that many moles of solution. So we get 0.115 divided by 0.145, and we get 0.793 molar HCl. So this one's pretty easy because we just have moles and, well, mils we had to change to liters. So the 145 mils had to be changed to 0.145 liters, but fairly straightforward. So I wrote these up last week. I can't remember. I think I'd just do two of each kind. Uh, towards the end, I think I start uh, just having one of each kind, but let's take a look. A 53 mil volume of sodium chloride contains 0 0.0513 moles sodium chloride. What is the molarity of this solution? Okay, this is just a rephrasing of the, of, the, uh, of the problem. This should be volume of sodium chloride solution. <coughs> Contains 0 0.0513 moles of sodium chloride. So the reason I, I, I'm doing out these ones that are fairly similar to each other is because in the, in the uh, textbook, they gave these different types in the in the back. They give so many different kinds. So I'm just doing uh, one or two of each type. So it's the same problem. It's just phrasing it differently. So that can throw students off. So it's worth a, a try here to do it out. So, point. so it's the same information, just phrased differently. And so you get, should get used to that idea that you... You have to kind of dig into the problem to see what they're asking because the problems on the exam will be phrased just slightly differently from the book, maybe quite differently from the book, but the same information is there. So they're saying we have this volume of solution, contains this many moles. What is the molarity? Same problem, just a different phrasing. 415 mil uh, volume of KClO potassium hypochlorite contains point. 678 moles of potassium hypochlorite. What is the molarity? Okay, so same problem, phrased the same way. So you get, uh, gonna get a lot of practice here. So since I'm only slightly changing these ones as we go, we should try, if you get it, then don't just sit back and say you're bored. Uh, try to do these before I get there. 
Uh, before I get to the answers, 0 0.678 divided by 0 0.415, and that's the answer. Okay, maybe I won't have to go to uh, 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 two uh, sets of these videos for this one lecture. A sample of lithium sulfate weighs 2.5 grams uh, and is dissolved in water to give 75 mils of solution. What is the molarity of the solution? Okay, so this is the same problem except instead of moles I've given you grams. So you have to convert this to, gram uh, to moles of lithium sulfate. You also have to know that lithium sulfate is this formula. And on my exams, that's what I'll do. I'll use the words rather than the formula. Just make sure that you've learned your nomenclature. And if you don't know your, your uh, nomenclature, you're going to be in a lot of trouble here because you won't know what the formula is. And that's what we're going to definitely need to know. So for lithium sulfate, we need to know the molar mass. And we have 6.41 plus 30. I'm going to assume that you know how to do this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on... Uh, on the molar mass at this point. If you if you are unclear of what I'm doing here, then go back to an earlier lecture. Just double check. Oh, so lithium 6.49 times 2. Oh, that's right. Plus 32 plus 64. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So we get 110 grams uh, per mole for lithium sulfate. Now we have 2.50 grams of lithium sulfate going to convert it to moles, 110 grams per mole of lithium sulfate. I'm going to put all the units in here. Slow it down slightly, and this is 0 0.0227 moles of lithium sulfate. And I'm going to do that one last time. As I was talking, I think I just forgot to Got to add in that last lithium the last time. Okay, so that's the correct number of moles. And then zero. Now we're to a problem just like we've done. Now we know the moles of the solute. We know the volume of the solution. Change over to liters. Make sure you change the liters or you're going to be off by a factor of a thousand. If I were grading your exam, I'd be able to tell what you did wrong. I'd still have to mark you down. It wouldn't be for me, for my class, I'd uh, you definitely get some some of the points because you did everything else right but you forgot to change over to liters. So I'm going to just double check everything here before we go on. Yep. And big thing that happens, this is 75 mils, a lot of times people will put this without thinking, they'll, they'll do the conversion so fast that they, they mess up, so be careful. A sample of copper 2 nitrate, which is this. Weighing 1.16 grams is dissolved in water to give 185 mils of solution. What is the molarity of this solution? So, you got to figure out we have copper, which is 63.5 plus uh, 28 plus 48 plus 48. And this should be about 180, when we round 188 grams per mole. I'm going to just double check real quick. So, 3.5 plus. Yeah, and when I double check, I try to add them up a, a different way rather than going, I, I added copper to nitrogen to oxygen, but you go the other way the second time, and you should always double check that kind of uh, calculation during the exam. Even you, know, you just have to do it really quickly, and what happens, like I did up uh, the earlier one, I made a mistake, and I went back through it and found the mistake. So the first time, be really cautious, the second time, kind of scream through the calculation really quickly, but uh, you come up with the exact same thing, you, you probably did it right. So this is 0 0.00617 moles, and I'm going to redo that. It should be a fairly small number because uh, it's 1.16, which is divided by then almost 200, so we expect it to be small, and that looks right. And I'm going to leave the uh, leave it in that form. I won't change it over to scientific notation because it only has two zeros, and that's fine by me. You may not like to see that, so you'd shift it over to scientific notation. Get rid of those extra zeros, those leading zeros. 0 0.00617 divided by 0.185. Change the liters. Make sure you've done that. 0 0.0334 molar copper to 
nitrate. Okay, hmm, we're going along pretty well actually. All right, what is the what volume of 0.165 molar nickel 2 nitrate is required to give 0 0.056 moles of nickel 2 nitrate? Okay, so we uh, if we take the the concentration times the volume, we end up with moles. This is the equation we're going to have to use. We were using it earlier, but it's fairly straightforward. Here we have to kind of stop and think about it. The concentration is moles per liter. The volume in liters, and you can see that will definitely give us moles. So we know the concentration. They gave us this. They want to know how many, and they gave us the moles. What we are missing is the volume. This is the thing that's in question. So then the volume is going to be moles divided by concentration. So we have 0 0.0560 moles of nickel. Actually, I'm going to do it down here. We have moles, uh, 0.056 moles of nickel nitrate, nickel 2 nitrate. And then it's divided by the, the concentration or the molarity, which means the moles go on the bottom, liters on top. So for every liter, uh, according, to, according to this concentration, for every liter of of the solution we have 0.165 moles. This is just our molarity inverted. Instead of 0.165 moles per liter, now it's liters per mole. So we've just, in, or in other words, we've divided by the concentration, moles per liter. So look at the units. It tells you that you have the moles, and so you need moles on the bottom. And where, where do we get those moles? We get it from the, con, the, the concentration term. So we have 0 0.56 divided by 0 0.165. This comes up to be 0 0.339 uh, liters. And it didn't specify how many, what we want, liters or mils, so we'll leave it alone, we'll leave it as liters. What volume in mils, now we have mils, of 11 molar uh, HCl is required to give 0.25 moles of HCl. So we have 0.25 moles HCl. We want to convert that to liters. Uh, well, to mils, but uh, we have moles on the bottom, and we convert to liters first because we have the only other information we have is that we have 11.0 moles per one liter of solution, and then for every liter, there's a thousand mils. So we're going to change moles to liters through the molarity. Liters are changed to to mils. So 0.25 divided by 11 times a thousand and we end up with 22.7 mils of of the HCl. So every 22.7 mils of 11 molar HCl contains 0.25 moles of HCl. Okay. How many moles of KBr are there in 151 mils of 0.0 uh, 612 molar KBr? So we have the concentration times the volume is going to give us moles. The concentration is in moles per liter. The volume has to be in liters, and that gives us moles. Now, the concentration is moles per liter. They have 0.0612. I'm going to, instead of having the capital M, I'm going to break it up into moles per liter. The volume is 151 mils, but we need to have it in liters if we're going to convert. So you see the liters, the concentration times the volume, the liters cancel, and we're, we're left with moles. And what that tells us is how many moles there are of this concentration in 151 mils, 0.00924 moles. Now I know I'm moving fast, but the thing is, you can rewind and watch it over and over again. Look at the examples in the book, look at the, at the equations in the book if I'm going too quickly. The point here for these videos is do out as many problems as I can, assuming that you've already had some experience with them. But if you haven't, that's okay. Go back to the book, uh, look through your notes, work on those, and, and then come back to these problems. How many moles of sodium hydroxide are there in 1.5 liters of 3.56 molar sodium uh, hydroxide solution? Ooh, uh, I forgot there's one other question here, isn't there? So how many grams of KBr are there? Well, we know moles. That is the second question. Sorry, I didn't, didn't spot that. 
And then we have potassium is 39.1 plus bromine, where are you? Uh, 79.9. So we have 119, oops, one mole of KBR is 119 grams KBR. So we have 0 0.00924 times 119. So this rounds to this many grams of KBR. So the problem is asking how many moles of KBR are there, but then after we're done, how many grams? So we do moles first, we have no choice. We have to do that and then we find the grams. So let's do, do an, a second problem like this. Instead of mils though, they gave us liters. So we actually start off without having to do any kind of prefacing uh, conversion before we can do the calculation we're after. So we take 3.56 times 1.5, and that gives us 5.34 moles of sodium hydroxide. And then that's how many moles are in the solution. Grams, then, we go back to, this is chapter 3 stuff now. Use the periodic table to find the molar mass. One mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. I'm almost as sure of that as my own name, but I'm going <laughs> to just do it out anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, comes up a lot. We use sodium hydroxide a lot. And then times 40, and we end up with uh, 214 grams of sodium hydroxide. The reason that we have such a difference in the masses here is that we had uh, only 151 mils rather than 1,500 mils in the second problem, and this is 0.0621, uh, 612, uh, for the concentration, and this is 3.56. So both the volume and the concentration are higher than the last problem. So we should expect it to be to be higher. Then we have uh, problem 11 here. How many grams of sodium? Uh, uh, let's see. So we have. Well, uh, I'm looking at the time here. We're probably not going to have to do it. I hate to just do these last problems on their own, but that is the best way. So let's let's save them here.